What is up, guys? I am Joe Von Grichten, and welcome to Pippin and Dippin Academy's YouTube channel. I got Hunter the Pip Hunter Burkett here with me. Hunter, you want to say hello? What's going on, guys? What is going on? He, he's hiding. He's hiding. He's waiting for his new internet to come in, so he might be a little spotty, guys. So I apologize uh, for that. But he is uh, the sauce he's going to give you guys today is fantastic. But before we do, just like always, if you're a first time visitor, welcome. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. It's in one of these corners here. Hit the subscribe button. Um, put it in the comments that you subscribed. We'd love to engage with you. If you have any questions or comments, of course, leave those there. And most importantly, if you watch this video and you got something out of it, if you found value in it, if you think other people would find value in it, please hit the like button. Let us help other people just like you uh, who are looking for the sauce because we got it, right? We got the best of California and the best of Texas right here. Uh, <clears throat> the only thing we're missing is, I guess, East Coast. Uh, who cares about the East Coast? I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. For those of you from the East Coast or uh, <laughs> other parts of the world, I'm just joking around. Uh, in all seriousness, guys, today we have the five things that you need, the only five things that you need to know when you're trading Forex. And these five things, if you know these five things, you can crush the game, period, the end, period, the end. You can crush the game. Learn these five things that Hunter's going to show you here in just a second. He's going to display it for you on a live chart like he always does. He's going to show you the sauce. But before we do, get out a pen and paper because you're going to want to write it down uh, or watch this video over and over again <clears throat> and go and rock this because these five things, guys, I'm telling you right now, are game changers. Uh, without further ado, Hunter, it is all yours, brother. Go ahead and take it over. Cool deal. Can you hear me good? Yep. Yep. Cool deal. So I just wanted to piggyback on what he said, man. This is literally, you know, when we, when we look at Forex, um, we look at it as, you know, that we can, once we get introduced to it, we can make so much money so fast and, and things like that. And when when we get that in our head, we, we go down this road of, you know, we, we literally are on a tunnel vision, which is great, but there's so many other things that we're not aware of um, that is detrimental to our success in Forex, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of garbage out there, guys. There's a lot of stuff on YouTube. There's a lot of stuff everywhere else. You're being influenced, things like that. And, you know, really in reality is – like when you find something or find someone that has proven results and uh, and you're able to really sit down and focus on what they have to say and what their strategy is and, you know, see it work time and time again, that's what you want to be a part of, okay? If it's with Pippin and Dippin, if it's with another, you know, trading company, whatever, you know, it's just, you know, you really need to focus on one thing, you know, the person that you Chases two rabbits, never catches none, right? So um, that's a that's a big thing in here because there's so much information. You get overloaded with so much stuff. You buy so much things, and you think it's going to help you, and it's not. You think it's going to take you to success, and it's not, right? So you need to declutter your mind and really just focus on one thing, okay? Collect data from it and go forward with it, okay? This video is probably going to be one of the most impactful videos we have on this youtube channel so watch it over and over again right mm -hmm. so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to share my screen and i'm going to tell you the five things that this is all you need this is literally all you need to be successful and guys when i tell you these things are you still going to lose trades absolutely yes okay but the thing of it is is if you want to get better you have to practice you need the experience you need to be in this market executing. That's the only way you're going to get good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm looking at the SPX. Uh, well, I was going to look at the, the NAS, but let's look at the NAS. Okay. Um, can you see my screen, Joe? Yep. Yep. Cool. All right. The first thing we need to do, guys, this is is the number one thing. The first thing, can you still hear me, Joe? Yeah. 
Yeah. Cool. cool. So the first thing we need to do is figure out the direction of our market. That's the first thing you need to do. Okay. Directional bias. And how to do that, guys, is, is strictly, I'm not drawing up support and resistance. Okay. Um, I don't care about all uh, like this stuff in the middle that's already been mitigated. It's already been, um, you know, taken out by, by, by the market. I don't care about, I'm caring about the areas that are on, that's un, unseen. Okay. And where's, where's current price. Okay. Now, even further, if we, if we did break down past this and we started to work down, then I'm, I'm on the higher time frame looking at what's next. Okay. What's next on this big upward move of potentially where money is laying. So what I'm saying is where is the liquidity? Where is the money? That's what you have to understand. That's how you find your directional bias on the higher time frame. You guys all know that. You all hear it. Higher time frame, you find a directional bias. Then you go down to the lower time frame and you execute. Okay. Um, so directional bias. Okay. And I, you know, we are market maker um, traders, but we also we're like market maker slash smart money concepts we're, we're, we're hybrids okay don't hate on us so because they both have good they both have good uh key components inside of their trading methods they, they're, they're phenomenal trading strategies right it's just when i went down both roads i seen that that market maker had flaws and i seen smart money had flaws okay but when i started combining them together and use them you know together um and pretty much and you're going to do this anyway everybody does anybody can argue with me about this everybody does once you go and you find what works for you from someone else you're going to make it your own you're going to figure out your strategy inside of that okay so and that's what i did it's what joe did and it's working okay um and we back tested a lot so um as you can see i'm on the weekly i'll go back to the daily and you can do four hours two well. OK, I can see that I have um, and yes, you can see the EMA is still on my screen. That is like a it's just a, something in the back. Background to help me figure out that my directional bias is still moving down. OK, uh, you can see here a perfect market maker cycle. Multi, I mean, uh, in pattern. OK. Inducement, pull back, inducement, pull back, inducement, pull back. That's market maker. OK, and then when I'm looking at market maker, OK, and this. This is the reason why I see that, you know, a lot of there were some flaws in it. OK, I see that potentially a lot of market maker traders will say. Oh, I'm just going to count the ADR to 300 pips because that's what it moves. I'm just making an example. I know NAS moves more than 300 pips, but like and then they will make a decision off of that pure off ADR. It's not the right thing to do because there's a lot more that goes with it. OK, and that's where liquidity comes into play and, you know, figuring out your direction. Boss, where is your market going to hit? Of course, we have pullbacks. Of course, okay. And those pullbacks could be weeks, okay. But at the end of the day, what what kind of trades are you looking for? Are you looking for 50-50s? Are you looking for high probability? I'm looking for high probability. I want to be chasing after where they're going. I don't want to be trading against them, okay. So um, of course, you're going to have great great trading, and I'll show you counters that we counter to as well. It's just just we know when to counter, okay? And I'll talk about that here in a minute. But as you can see, as we were moving down, and I'm gonna I'm gonna explain today today's trade. But as you can see, we're moving down. We knew our directional bias, so we were looking for sales inside of here. Um, did we counter here? Yes. But most of our trading were sales, okay? Um, and as I seen, we were getting close to this area, pretty much relative equal lows, okay? And you can see that. This, this took out this low, okay, and then we moved away. When this moved away, and we started to move back down, and you could clearly see we're making higher lows. I mean, yeah, higher lows. When I got to this area and I seen the smash down, we take out liquidity, we pull back in, we take out liquidity again, we pull back in. Guys, that right there to me is to me, I you, you gotta think about it. There's buy, I mean, uh, sell stops right here. There's people trying to you know break out retest trying to you know go go to 
continue the market. I don't think of it like that way because this market is pretty much all psychology, right? Because if I was running this thing, I wouldn't want to give somebody a free launch. It's too easy for the candle to break, reach test and go. It's too easy. That's too easy for someone to grab. Everybody would make millions of dollars, right? If it was me, I would manipulate the market right here. You know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. At an area of value that there's big money laying. Accumulate some more and take the market direction uh, that it was intended for, right? So that's what I look for. And when I seen this last, you know, on Monday, we had this little, you know, sharp movement down. We took out, you know, last week's low. Okay. And I'm like, okay, cool. So we pull back in immediately. We start to start to have some bullish movement. Okay. I started to think, okay, so now I I know where I just took liquidity. I know my directional bias for this week. Okay. My directional bias as of right now, I know we're still, it looks so much bearish, right? And we could go back to the weekly. I could show you that there could, it could potentially go down, but it is starting to show me bullish signs. Okay. Of for today. And that's the reason why I was like, okay, if it does this, I do not predict the market. We react to the market. And when I see my trade set up, I take it, okay? Lose or win, okay? Now, I'm going to go to the lower time frame. I'm going to go to the hour, okay? And you can see that this low was set last week. We pulled up and it was taken out. So we set a, you know, kind of a, almost a multi-day. Um, yeah, it was pretty much a multi-day all together. Multi-day W pattern, we rise, we break the high, okay? We start to come up, we start to pull back, okay? We accumulate pretty much all, all Tuesday. And, this, and, and, and guys, disregard, this is, this is NFP week too as well, okay? And so we start accumulate a lot more, okay? Then I want to, you see, you're like, well, what are those two lines on your screen here? Uh, down, at the bottom, down at the bottom right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the lower time frame. And I want you to pay attention too, guys. One hour time frame is perfect for short term, short term uh, highs and lows for liquidity zones, okay? If you're looking at this and you have any relative equal highs and stuff like that or potential, you know, a lot, you think, think to yourself, well, do, you, do you really think there's money sitting here? I think so. I think so. It makes sense that a relative equal highs are right here. And the market is hitting both ways. You know what I'm saying? So then I'll break down to the 15 minute. Okay. And, and you can see here, I can even draw, uh, let me put another line right here. Okay. I'll put that black line. On, I'm going to get rid of this black line real quick. Hang on. I'm going to do this right. Okay. Well, I'll do this. Right here. And right here. Okay. I want you to pay attention to the gap that's inside. As you see how there's no wicks that came back on this candle. Okay. And then there's a gap right here. There's a lot of imbalance right here. Okay. There's a a lot of imbalance and typically when you see an imbalance in the market typically nine times out of ten the market will go back and fill it does it have to do it right then it didn't do it that day does it, does it have to do that that's the reason why i say do you want 50 50 trades or do you want 90 percent trades okay then take anything to this day at all okay the reason why is because if i did get in here guys and i was trying to buy which i was very looking at okay i was trying to buy and this thing spiked all the way down, what would be the flaw? It's not the strategy. It's me. It's me. The reason why is because I didn't wait for this. Clearly, this was sitting here right in front of my face, okay? Right in front of my face. And I was like, okay, I'm going to wait for this to come down here and give me my trade setup, okay? My students were watching this. We were on this call just now, a while ago, and we were looking at this. Okay, and I seen price. You know, it's it's perfect how price does. Okay, you see accumulate. You can see a little bit stop point right here. It takes out the Asian high. Okay, 
inducing what? Inducing people to go wrong. Right off the gate. Right off the gate. Okay. Okay. And then we have liquidity laying here. Uh, let me zoom in on this, bro. Okay. Liquidity. Okay. So boom, boom, boom. All, all lows right here. All money resting right here. Okay. It hit it up to the high. We smashed down, smoked these guys out. Not only right here. Okay. Not only right there. But right here too. Okay. Smoke those guys out. Come down, fill these gaps. We'll pull back into it. Okay. We what's next? Okay. For one, I, I understand this is the end of New York, but I'm just making this an example. Okay. For one, you have to understand that the three things already, okay, that I've already talked about. For one, we know our direction of bias. Okay. I've taken liquidity on a higher time frame me myself i'm looking for a potential uh reversal in this market i want to see a bullish movement okay can this market leave from right here absolutely we got news coming in 15 minutes the news can you know change the whole traje trajectory of this trade okay now then we talk about liquidity we we, we, we uh you know we know where our liquidity zones are Okay, and then I talk about imbalance. Okay, imbalance is laying here. We pull back into it. We took in liquidity in a lower time frame and big time. Frame. Okay, now I need to think about timing aspect. Okay, timing. Okay, New York starts at seven o'clock my time, central time. Guys, you can use this um, however you want to. You can go to Trading View and, and put your timing box down at the bottom to New York time, and it'll be accustomed to New York. York time okay i just know whenever new york opens it's eight o'clock eastern and it's seven o'clock central okay and i just set it to my time it's nothing wrong with that okay so you can see that our timing it did run out okay we did run out of timing but i want you to pay attention to any time that you're inside from seven new york starts at seven central my time to ten o'clock central a.m okay and that box that three hour box guys is your timing for new york to try to execute a trade that's high probability okay timing is everything in this market timing is everything okay and then and okay i have an other confluence that i use especially with the tdi the tdi guys indicators are junk but the TDI shows me something during a, an event that the market is doing that helps me not only have confidence, but it helps me understand that the trade is available, okay? That's what's like an extra confluence. So not only, you guys have, ta you, you guys have heard, heard me say pattern, you know, pattern is king, pattern is king, and everything like that, okay? So I'll go back to the 30-minute time frame. Look at the shark film, okay? Beautiful shark film. Okay, one hour, one hour, beautiful sharp fin. Okay, that's what I look for. High probability sets with coming down and grabbing liquidity and coming to an imbalance. Perfect. This is perfect for me. And I have a liquidity above me. Okay, now when I was looking at this trade, I was like, well, guys, we got imbalance to go back and fill too, baby. So we're, 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 it's all good, right? This is a 90% trade. Everything. Is meeting the requirements except for time, okay? But as you know, if you guys study any indices, okay, NAS 100, SPX, you you know that they uh, they do run um, after New York. They do run relatively good, and they do throw good patterns during that timing from like um, what is it like ten o'clock at you know after New York. You know we we'll use the timing aspect for forex. Um, the forex pairs, you know, going to my time, I think till noon to one o'clock, my time huh, is still good trading for those, just those pairs, not for forex. Forex uh, typically, uh, you know, 11.30 noon, it starts to consolidate and get ready for the consolidation period, accumulation phase 
and, and starts trapping traders. Okay. So as we sing it, I drop down. Okay. And I want to see my pattern. And the pattern was there. Okay. We had the left leg coming right here. We're out of the band. We come back down. We stop pump one more time. Okay. We give divergence. We close above the 13 or above the market baseline. There's the entry. Boom. And we get our pullback and off to the races. Okay. Off to the races. Okay. We end up taking our profit in here due to the fact that we have, we have news in 15 minutes. That's one. And number two, that um, it filled up all, you know, what you see on the, on the higher time frame imbalance. It filled that. It left imbalance below us. So we could potentially have a pullback. You know, news can come back and pretty much take all of our profit. But guys, think about it. That's 630, 637 pips on NAS, right? For 1,362. That's a two to one, easy. Okay, would you take that? I am. I did. Joe did. Our students did. You know. Yep. So that's that's what I'm talking about. Is like, and then you could even go down to the lower time frame, even the one minute guys and catch a profound entry and still see, uh, you know, an awesome pattern. You can see the left leg comes in. Okay, it's just the one minute's a lot a lot noisier. You got to understand that. Okay, comes in. Boom, boom, entry, take off. Okay. So that right there, guys, five things directional bias. Write these down. If you ain't got a pen and piece of paper, you're doing yourself a disservice. Number one, directional bias. Number two, liquidity. Number three, imbalance. Number four, timing. Number five, pattern, entry. Take the, take the trade, execute, stop being afraid. Read them off again. What wolf are you feeding? Are you feeding the fear wolf? Number one, directional bias. Number two, liquidity. Number three, imbalance. Number four, tiny. Number five, pattern. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you one more example. Um, okay. I Here's, a, here's an example. Example of USD CAD is perfect. Okay. Look how I want to I want to zoom in on this. And this is the last example. I want you to pay attention how we 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 rose into this high. Okay. Order block. Okay, sitting right here. But I want you to pay attention. I understood that there was money there too. As well, we spike up, we take it, we pull back in. I was like, yes, here's here it is. I'm not making any type of irrational decisions right off the bat because I know. That you know everything that's going on in the world, guys. There's a lot of people. You know, they're they're they're. Um, I, I I feel like you know, if 95 percent of people are failing this market, they're getting tore up right now, just due to the everything that's going on, right? So check it out. So the daily time frame, I know that boom, spike back in. Now I'm starting to look at okay, what do we have below me? What do I? What am I going to chase after if my market does revert? right here okay so that's what i started to figure out so i started to break down i even got four hour imbalances you can see boom boom no wicks imbalance imbalance okay imbalancing right here i want to understand the the because i'm an intraday trader so i want to understand what's the short term because i'm in and out of my trades in a day sometimes i'll hold them through asian if i'm a good profit and and then take my profit before i go to bed but you know, clear. Uh, most of the time, I trade it. My take profit within one or two hours, maybe two and a half hours. I'm good. Uh, so I started. To, I started to you know break it down. We got divergence across the board, all the way across the board. You can see it. Okay, here's that liquidity grab. We pull back in immediately, and I start to think to myself, man, we just have some good stuff. We just have some good stuff. So we break down to the hour. I see this imbalance, right? I see this imbalance. So we set after the liquidity spike right here, we grab, we, we reverse, we pull back. There's the first trade. There's the first 
trade right here. I want you to pay attention. I'm going to go to 30 minute. Okay. Not quite a 30 minute shark fin. I would love to see a shark fin, which is, which is cool. We would break down to the 15 and you can see it. There's a 15 minute shark fin. Guys, shark fins are only powerful. If you traded nothing but shark fins, you're going to get tore up in market. Let me explain why. The reason why uh, uh, that these two shark fins right here, you can see them, okay? This shark fin here um, inside of London, and then we came back up, made a relatively equal high, and you know they're pretty much at the top. It's because, guys, there, there's no liquidity grab here, okay? No liquidity grab here. And then we come up, grab liquidity, shark fin, and then we, and then we start to move down. I didn't take this trade. Why? Not in my timing. Not in timing. At all. Okay. Now I'll roll into the next day. You see, you can see how after New York guys it accumulates, 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 accumulates. Little bit of stop point, boom, drop the market. We come back up, we take out these relative equal highs. Why am I selling? It's because I'm thinking my directional bias is down, guys. Okay. My directional bias is down. So I see this. I said, okay, good pattern here, W pattern, good counter. Okay, but I'm not risking it right as my market is reversing. It's, it's, that's, not, that's not a good practice, okay? That's not a good practice is to start countering right as your market is trying to reverse and go into a bearish market. It's not smart. Um, so it co comes here, boom, takes out liquidity, sets, sets the shark, and I'm like, perfect. Okay, so boom, I go to the five and, and we reach the benefits. Okay, I even caught this trade on the one minute time frame. You can see the left leg comes here, we bring down, comes up, didn't come all the way to the top, which is fine, that's fine with me. Um, gave me my entry. Okay, left leg, right leg, entry. I got into the market. It was very slow down. Very slow down. Guys, I had my take profit. It literally hit my take profit right before we hopped on this call. I had my take profit right there at this relative equal low right here. Okay? And look how, boom. Boom. Perfect. You see what I'm saying? And then, guys, all this stuff that's inside of here, Okay, I was in profit, so I, I just let the trade run. I know it's after the time. I let the trade run because I was already in profit. But don't let this stuff scare you out when you know when you, when you fully want to trust your strategy. Don't let these little pullbacks scare you out. Don't let, it, don't let it scare you out of the trade, okay? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Let these trades materialize. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you the reason why. When you let trades materialize and you're and you're consistently putting down in your journal, oh, two to one, three to one, four to one, two to one, three to one, two to one, two to one, two to one. Two to one. Guys, that is how you win this game. Is risk to reward. That's how you win a game, right? Cut your losses short. Let your winners run to your take profit, right? That's how you win. So I hope you got value out of that. Because I, I mean, it's that that right there, guys, and, and that's what I'm saying is wait for this stuff. Be patient with this, okay? Be patient with these these trade setups. They're they're every they're, they're they happen all the time. They happen all the time. If they don't if they don't present themselves, then don't take it. It's that simple. It's that simple. Um. Like, um, yeah, like uh, GU, we took, we took GU as well, okay? GU was a little bit more of a risky trade. Let me tell you why. It's because we've seen that we come down here to this low on the weekly. We broke this low, okay? And then I come, we start smashing down again. I'm like, okay, there's an order block right here. Um, I want to see how it reacts. So reacted, okay? Can G do you still move down? Yeah. Do you can still continue down if it wants to? Okay. But um, even today, I was like, 
like, okay, but the potential of this trade going back up, maybe pulling back, feeling this imbalance is very likely, right? Um, I broke down to the 15 minute, but I want you to pay attention to, to, to the reason why you have to understand the, the liquidity and you have to Science based off the last three days. Okay, everything's pulling up, grabbing liquidity, and moving back down. So when I see an accumulation, stop point. Okay, London was a good stop point, and then we pull accumulate in the dead zone, and we make this fast move up. Okay, we take out this tie liquidity grab out of the band into the band trade. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. And that was a liquidity grab for the second leg, multi-session impact. Guys, I've talked about these trades. Anytime that you have an M, okay, and, and this is an impact, multi-session impact, look what's inside of it. Left leg, neck, right leg, okay? When you have a W inside of an M, it's game over. It's a game over trade. So what I did is we broke down to the five. And you could broke down to the one. To left leg, right leg on on the on the right leg of the trade, and it was smoke city from there. Okay, and what do we go after? We went and took these lows out. Okay, mm -hmm. boom, easy money. You pay attention to these. You only trade these setups. You you um, screenshot your perfect trade setup, and you screenshot it, and you put it into a folder, guys, and go buy it. Just go buy it and stay. There. So that's all I got for today, guys. Those five things will lead you to success. The only thing that will hold you back is you. All right, hold on. Let me, let me, uh, so I can't annotate again, man. Can't annotate, but directional bias, liquidity, imbalance, timing, and pattern, right? Or did you say pattern and timing? Timing and pattern, probably. That's perfect. Yeah, timing and pattern. Because timing, we like to trade the New York session. So we're only looking for stuff in the New York session. If it's not there, we don't take it. Uh, that's awesome. That was awesome, man. That was good stuff. Uh, guys, uh, you know, just to reiterate what Hunter said, you know, our, not only are we taking these, these trades, our students are taking these trades. Students are crushing FTMOs. Like they're crushing live accounts. It It's like, because they're staying disciplined with this stuff. So like Hunter said, are you going to take losses? Of course you are guys to, for anybody to say that they're going to hundred percent winners. Look, not that that doesn't happen. There's, there's times I've watched Hunter go on like 35 trade win streaks, literally like three, four weeks uh, of trading, you know, intraday trading um, or more probably uh, just crushing, crushing the game. And then he'll lose, right? It happens. Um, I've done the same thing. So have our students. So, you know, to think that you're not going to lose, anybody that tells you you're not going to lose, that's ridiculous. We're not going to, you know, blow smoke that way. However, if you can stay disciplined, control your emotional uh, intelligence, what's between your ears, and follow those five rules that Hunter just showed you with directional bias. So know what's going on from the higher time frame down. Know your... Uh, liquidities zones and then your imbalance all right and then your timing and your patterns and you're going to crush crush absolutely crush the market um so with that hunter man great job great job showing uh hope you guys enjoy the video uh until then if you have further questions put them in the questions down below remember pound the like button if you found value in this video um if you want more one-on-one -on -one with us we actually have uh, our private community that you can join as well. There's links down below, or you can send us a message for more information, either or, whichever works best for you. Um, so uh, lots, of, lots of good stuff there. Uh, and we're getting ready to work on something special where we're going to even give away some of our training on. Uh, we've been talking about it on one of the famous course uh, platforms out there. Um, just kind of give it away for pennies on the dollar give away our knowledge. Um, 
so that we can add as much value. Because really the guys, the what people in our community pay for is to have time with Hunter and I uh, in our community. So um, our training, on the other hand, is incredibly valuable. Um, if you want it, you want access to it, you need some help, don't hesitate to ask. With that, that's uh, all the salesy I'm going to get on you. We love you guys. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you. Hunter, you got anything else before we uh, shut this down? No, guys. Just remember, you go look at our post, uh, our last recent post. Figure out what wolf you're feeding, guys. If you're feed feeding that fear wolf, or you're feeding that courage wolf. And be self-aware about it. Let's fix it. See you guys. Right on. Take care, guys. See you soon.